Risa, how was your week? <laughs> My week was good. I'm trying to think, what did I do this week? I was in Utah yesterday for the opening of our store in Murray. Yeah, that, that was so that exciting. That was exciting. We may or may not have gotten in trouble for handing out balloons. Oh. <laughs> so then we had a gra- We had a lot of balloons too. <laughs> so we made like five big bundles and like tied them to the. Um, the shelving unit. Are you not allowed to give out balloons? Apparently you're not at a mall. Which makes oh. sense. Because they were like, then there's all these balloons <laughs> that people and they can't get. And I was Drama like, queen. Oh. Well maybe queen. that's true. Like tie Oops. it to your wrist. I know. Jeez. I said we were planning on time to the bath bomb. They were taking too long. Can we just do that? And he was like, no, because if a parent decides to untie it, and I was like, dang it. But we had a lot of balloons. They were like, what are we going to do with these? And I was like, have a popping party with the ball. That sounds fun. Your shelves are like floating. <laughs> no, it was a lot of balloons. But, um, but that was fun. How about, how about your guys' weekend? Week, not weekend. Well, this weather, I love it so much. So, so good today. finally starting to really garden. So that makes my soul oh, happy. That's fun. Yeah. I have a lot of big plans for my front yard this year, so I'm really excited about it. What about you, Emily? Um, I got a puppy. That's right. So oh, got my a puppy. life is very hectic, but so good because <laughs> he's so cute. But it's like uh, I told my husband, like, is this like just giving a little peek of what it's like to have twins? Because it's like <laughs> you have a baby. I have my baby, and I'm like, okay, the baby's asleep. Puppy, don't wake up the baby. Or then the puppy's asleep, and I'm like. Baby, don't wake up the puppy. And then they wake each other up, and then I'm up at 3 a.m. and I'm like, hey, party time for us. <laughs> and I feel like they're both at like, um, like you know, puppies are always crazy mm-hmm. and you know, chewing and whatever. Yes. And, and and Mia, Mia is crazy is, and chewing. She's like it's teething. starting to move around yes. and like you're gonna yeah, have kind of like poop and pee <laughs> everywhere. Everywhere, like everywhere. You guys don't want to know but what my house is little. like. It's a little little puppy, so they're yes. just like little like. But Mia's poopy <laughs> butts make up for it. So oh, that girl. Goodness. That's oh funny. Oh, oh well, welcome to the Plant Therapy Live, your one-stop shop for natural product nudes, easy DIYs, and tips for natural living. Let's get started. Um, ba, 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 ba. A lot of people asking about DIYs. That is one of the best ways we delight our customers. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Uh, what? <laughs> Do you know what that is? Oh my. Show you how to use those oils and how to combine them. Can customers who have kids use non-kid safe oils in their home? I think it just puts such a personal touch on the oil. We're always looking for that sustainable sourcing. So that's a really good way to use essential oils in your first trimester. This is also a great choice if you're not a big lavender fan. And we always try to do the right thing around the world and leave it a better place. It really is like two babies. Yes, it's so much. <laughs> <I> squeeze them. <laughs> Okay, so if you've ever had any questions about blending or diffusing, then we are going to hopefully answer those questions today on our show. But first, Miss Katrina, I assume, has Mm. some natural product news for us. That's right. So today we're talking about all things diffusion and diffusers. There are several popular types of diffusion, including, but not limited to, ultrasonic, nebulizing, and passive diffusion. And each uses a different method of releasing the wonderful aroma of essential oils into the air. A nebulizer requires only the essential oils with no heat or water. It uses a high pressure air stream to turn the essential oils into atomized particles, sending them directly into the air into your room. Um, Our new Terra fuses use ultrasonic diffusion. So there's a small metal plate in the base of the water reservoir that creates ultrasonic vibrations. And those vibrations then turn the water and essential oils into a light mist and fill your home with fragrance. It's pretty cool, right? It is. When you actually think about the process, it's, it's pretty cool. That those little plates go so fast that yeah, it's and ultrasonic you feel like mm-hmm. it's and just, then it creates yeah. you can't creates see the bu- the water bubble right. yeah. which is pretty cool when you open the diffuser yeah. um one of the things as soon as you started talking about the nebulizer and how it works nebulizers are often very noisy diffusers mm-hmm. um and as soon as you started talking about that i was like hey, well it makes sense why mm-hmm. they're noisy now right yeah <laughs> Yeah, nebulizers are, it was actually one of the first ways I started diffusing yeah, was too. with a nebulizer. Um, and it has its benefits, but I think the biggest drawback 
one is the noise and then two it is how fast you go through your essential oils when you aren't putting them in water just a few drops and you're just putting that whole bottle right into it and I, it just it goes so fast yeah yeah it's pretty cool so we are going to be talking about blends and diffusers um, and as you can see we have all of our new diffusers here up on the table and the Aroma Fuses and the Aroma Fuse Deluxe, are, not the Aroma Fuse, the um, Terra, Terra Fuse. Fuse and the Terra Fuse Deluxe are all going and you can see, I don't know if customers, can you see on the live, Darby, how much <coughs> it's coming out? I actually can't see the live stream. Oh. Yeah, I, can see I mean, it's like, it you know, here. a good, what, foot above mm -hmm. the, is how yep, much, I mean, it really it. disperses a lot. It's, it's really awesome. They're great diffusers. We don't have the travel one going, um, but at the store yesterday, I did have multiple customers who wanted to see the travel one to mm -hmm. see how much it put out. And they were all like super impressed. I mean, just standing there on for a couple seconds, you could smell it like, <laughs> they were like, whoa, I can smell it standing here now. Like they mm -hmm. were really impressed with how much it put off. Um, yeah, so. I like taking that travel one just room to room. Yeah, right. Like, yeah. it's just super convenient, and I love that you don't have to plug it in. You can charge mm -hmm. it. I love it. Yeah, and one of the, uh, we actually had a gentleman who purchased it yesterday, and he was like, I travel all the time, and he was so impressed with how light it was mm -hmm. because oh, he yeah. says, I need my suitcase to be right. light. And so he was, he was just like, really, he kept lifting it up and being like, this is so light. Like, I can't believe how that's light awesome. it is. So that's another benefit that I actually never even thought yeah. of. Yeah. Um, which was pretty cool. So we're excited to talk about these awesome new diffusers that we have because we love them and we've been working on them They're so, so long. They're so pretty too. Yeah. Yeah. Samantha <laughs> says, why don't you send one to my house and then I can see better. <laughs> <laughs> Samantha, why don't you send one to me? <laughs> yeah, I, was, I was just going to read that. I was like, Samantha would like us to send her one so we can verify these statements. And Kathleen's asking if we sell a nebulizer and we don't. I think we used to mm -hmm. a yeah, few quite years a ago. While ago. Nebulizers are very expensive mm -hmm. yeah, compared to ultrasonic diffusers. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. yeah. What it was. yeah. And it's really yeah. noisy. Um, and we, we thought about bringing it back and really it wasn't, it didn't have great reviews because of mm -hmm. how noisy it was. You had to have it like on such a tiny thing for it to not like, bzzz, mm -hmm. like this buzzing, yeah. this buzzing noise. Um, so, so yeah, we went away from these and, and just go with, with this type of diffusion now. And mm -hmm. nebulizers, I've always been unsure of how to clean them like i've, ha I've yeah i've mm -hmm. had a nebulizer and especially and was, if you use like a thick oil and it mm -hmm. gets stuck in the tube and you have to take the whole thing apart yeah. oh that's miserable yeah. yeah yeah it is a lot harder that's a great point danny and we is, prefer these ones yeah i was i pulled these out for the first time yesterday and really got my hands on them i was amazed at the how solid and quality they yeah. they mm -hmm. feel they're just really awesome i love that i can put them in my house and have it look like a piece of decor yeah. mm -hmm. and, and not just really like we this going for. bulky diffuser mm -hmm. um so i really love that and i i love these small ones too because i they do too up a lot of room the less pointed out that they kind of look like a planter oh, oh yeah and I yeah said, yeah i never thought about yeah, that but definitely. they do yeah. or an urn mm -hmm. i guess that's what my like husband says about the ultra fuse that's what the ultra one looks like yeah my husband says that all the time he looks like we have an urn i think the ultra one especially if you put it in you know certain places in something to note we did i did see some comments and some questions customers asking why the cord comes out of the front of the diffuser and um, where the buttons are and the logo that's actually the back of the diffuser because we wanted to make it look like a piece of um, decor in your home and so the front of the diffuser doesn't have anything on it it just looks like the stone um, that it was meant to look like I but love that. that's a good question yeah. though yeah, it's a great question. Yeah. Yeah, especially when you get up. And a lot of times our images show the yeah. logo, right? Because we want to yeah. show the buttons and stuff. Right. Um, however, that's actually the back of the diffuser. <laughs> right. <laughs> so something to keep in mind. So this is how they would display. The way we have them here on the live is how they would, how, you know, we probably would recommend or what how they were meant to be displayed mm -hmm. in the home. So mm -hmm. we have a customer wanting to know which one would maybe be better for a small space, like an office. Yeah. and which one would maybe be better for a bigger space. Mm -hmm. So definitely the Deluxe is our largest reservoir. It has the largest um, approximate square footage coverage. So that would be for a large room, an open concept room or vaulted ceiling, something along those lines. Um, the portable diffuser has the smallest reservoir. So it's really, 
It's the most gentlest one, but it's pretty similar to this one. So I would say either one of those two mm -hmm. would be good for a small um, space. Honestly, though, if you're talking about like putting it in an office, mm -hmm. I would recommend passive diffusion there just so you're not um, making everybody else Smell it. Smell your smell. You know. <laughs> smell your yeah. smell. smell your just smell. public <laughs> diffusion in general can be a little um, iffy, so just make sure if you do want to diffuse this way, you're talking to your coworkers mm -hmm. and that they're not irritated by any of the aromas that you're using, or you can just use passive. And so that's right next to you, and you can enjoy the benefits without anybody else being involved. <laughs> yeah. I do think it's important to point out these timers. Um, these timer wow. settings are really awesome too. So I know a customer at the store yesterday um, wanted to get the big one, but she wanted it to use in her bedroom. And she's like, is that okay? And I was like, you just choose more appropriate mm -hmm. timer settings, right? Instead of having it diffuse longer, maybe do, I think there's like a, what is it? 15 minutes off, or 30 minutes on, 30 minutes off. Mm -hmm. Maybe do that in your bedroom, that right? So it has some, some time to, you know, Disperse. Yeah, not you just not don't so need to diffuse continuously, right? And mm -hmm. I think a lot of the times with continuous diffusion, it can lead to things like headaches, just because strong scent yeah, in anything general, too much in general can cause that. I I don't know. I go down like the candle aisle at our grocery store, and I can't even walk down it without getting a headache because mm. of those like strong. See, I, and I just buy them and eat them. Oh, candles? candles? Oh, I thought she said candy. <laughs> <laughs> Whoa, Rita's eating that candles. I know, that was weird. <laughs> oh, my yeah. gosh. It's like, I don't know. That's it how rumors get started. It was one of my secrets started. that I just accidentally let out. <laughs> I thought you said candy, and I was like, well, that's weird that it's not that weird strong of scent, but whatever. <laughs> I'm just going to buy them and eat them. <laughs> No, I oh, love walking down the weird. candy aisle. <laughs> so something I wanted to clarify, because I've seen this a couple times too. I think um, customers thought like our Ultra Fuse before was bigger than our Aroma Fuse. Oh, and yeah. actually they had about the same mm. reservoir size. So yeah. a customer was asking if we were going to come out with something that was as big as the Ultra Fuse for larger rooms. And I think just because the Ultra Fuse was a bigger, bigger base, it looks yeah. bigger, but it actually had the same size reservoir as the Aroma Fuse. So really, the Terra Fuse Deluxe is going to be the one you want for a larger yeah. space. You know, so it really depends that. on the amount of water that the diffuser holds and not the actual size of oh. the diffuser. Um, yeah, and these, these Deluxe ones are going to work great in a large, in a large area. There was a question on here that I thought was good that I haven't really thought about yet. So maybe we can chat this through. Okay. So if somebody's going camping, mm -hmm. which one of these would be best? Like the portable one? Should we do a bigger one just because it's out in the yeah, it's mm -hmm. out in the open? I think it also has to do too with like weather, wind. Mm -hmm. I imagine like the portable one, if you're all sitting around a table, would be mm -hmm. fine. Like mm -hmm. to have some citronella or lemongrass coming out of out, out of it to help that way. But I don't know. Do you guys have Maybe Heavy even thoughts. like some passive diffusers. I feel that like way. that might not be strong enough. I have used passive diffusers for bug repellent and it, oh. it I mean, well. bugged away stuff. <laughs> uh, <laughs> those pesky <laughs> things yeah, to no. deter them. <laughs> I mean, maybe as long as you're not saying what oils you're using, it's fine if you're this using that because you might, you know, be spraying bug repellent. <laughs> See, really, I'm using bug Even when you're camping, something. a lot of times you don't have electricity. Yeah, so I, I, that's what I was thinking. Yeah. Might be your I don't, only option. I don't think I ever, like all my stuff is battery operated when I go camping. Mm -hmm. Like so I then in that case, really the pass, the, uh -huh. not I, passive, and it, but the what I love travel. about that is it's going to stay, if you're, if it's on the whole time, it's going to stay, um, have battery for four hours approximately. Mm -hmm. Um, but you can just plug it into your car to recharge mm -hmm. it, you know? So it's not like you are then have to find an outlet, right? Yeah. You just plug it into your car and let it recharge that way. So that's the one that I would take. And maybe even just a couple of them, if you need a larger space covering, unless you have, you know, some outlet that you could plug one of these in, but you know, that's the, that's the problem with that. <laughs> yeah. Um, I had the, is there, so the lids on these were, I was fascinated by the lids on these. Um, they're just really thick and cool. And anyway, is Whoa. there a purpose <laughs> for the, like, I just, I don't know. I just really love how the, the lid was created. Is there any information you can give about the lid or m maybe we don't know. Cause, uh, that might be an Ashley question. Yeah, I don't really know what you're asking. I will say. 
I do. I love the lid. Maybe I'm just saying. The lids are nice. Yeah. The lids are nice. They it's like one nice. solid um, piece. I do yeah. know that we put in this round, so our aroma fuses lids were more flat, and we put in this round to help with um, spillage when you took the lid off. So we had a lot of customers say that when they took the lid off, it all just ran. Mm -hmm. And this, you might get a little bit of a drip, but really, this the way that it is. Um, prevents it from holding so much water on the bottom of the lid. So that was a negative review that we got with the aroma fuses that we, you know, fixed with this one. Um, so that's about all I know about the lids. Well, <laughs> I, I like with these ones compared to the aroma fuse, it kind of the thing that sometimes happened with mine, which was an easy fix and something I directed customers with is when moisture got underneath the little plastic insert on the aroma fuse mm -hmm. lids, mm -hmm. sometimes it would pop it out of the mm -hmm. grooves mm -hmm. and then it wouldn't diffuse adequately. But when you popped it back into those grooves and everything was fine, mm -hmm. but I like how those don't have that extra piece. They don't have that extra piece. It's just a solid piece, piece of yeah. material. I think that's yeah. really handy. That's a great point too. The other thing I noticed was the, um, I, I don't know if it's the, the, the motor, you can tell that the, the motor or the fan or whatever that's used in these on, on both of the smaller and the larger one, they feel significant. Like mm -hmm. they feel a lot more significant and you'll see the, the bottom uh, area where the air comes in, you can see that the, the fan takes up that whole place. Anyway. It's just, I'm really excited about the construction of these. And what's interesting too is I have seen a crazy amount of customers talk about how much quieter they are. Mm -hmm. They are they very are, quiet. They are we very have four quiet. of them I running. I can't hear them at all from over here. Yeah. yeah, and you might, like with four of them running, if we're really quiet, it just kind of like, I, I don't can hear know. the fridge over in the corner louder than. Yeah, it's yeah. true. You can yeah. hear the fridge more. Like there's a little bit mm -hmm. of sound that maybe sounds like air a little mm -hmm. bit, but it's not like a buzzing or I don't know. They're so if quiet. If customers yeah. hear buzzing on the live right now, we can assure them it's coming from outside. <laughs> yeah. 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 It's not our computers. There's something going on in the warehouse. The right banging. Now. <laughs> bang, oh. bang. That's our diffusers, guys. So <laughs> funny. So all of this material is a a certain type of plastic that starts with a P, I'm pretty sure. Um, so plastic all of them, with they a P? All, it's, like, it's like polypurpetrate yeah, or something like that. Yeah, it's some type of plastic. Yeah, I know, plastic does start with a P, doesn't it? Good point. <laughs> um, there, it's all the same material, and they are yeah. plastic, this type of plastic um, that is really heavy duty. And the reason that we work with this specific manufacturer is because they use this specific plastic which um, holds up with essential oils. Mm -hmm. So there are, you can get cheaper plastic diffusers um, that aren't gonna last as long because the essential oils are gonna break them down and the essential oils will not break down this plastic. So that's specifically why we work with this manufacturer um, as well as a lot of other things. Like the quality is just really amazing. Um, but, but it is none of these, it's not, I asked, I saw someone asked if it was bamboo, someone mm -hmm. asked, um, we've seen a lot, is it actual stone? Mm -hmm. It's, it's not, it is a type of plastic to make them much more durable and help them last a lot longer. So. But it does look very realistic. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I, I think that that's really neat. It, if we you went didn't a lot know, of, yeah, yeah. A lot of design iterations to, yeah, to make it look the most realistic. Yeah, yeah absolutely polypropylene there we go i was close thanks oh, yeah. Stephanie. also a delicious drink <laughs> like a drink i mean i eat candles danny <laughs> drinks polypolyphery i don't know can i talk a little bit about the light features yeah the diffusers i've seen that come up a few times in the comments too talking about the what the lights look like and how to work the you lights you want me to turn off the lights so you can see the lights if you if, want, is that possible? Yeah. 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 yeah, sure. Okay. Yeah, so this light um, is a bit different than the Aroma Fuse because it comes from underneath the lid. So it just has this mm. um, really pretty, it's kind of like a candle, actually. Yeah. Like the glow of a candle yeah. light, yeah. I think, mm -hmm. is how we would, how I would describe mm -hmm. it. Um, but I love the lights, but they mm -hmm. don't, I think the Aroma Fuse put out a little bit more light. Mm -hmm. the, Danny, do you know, I is that travel one charged? Yeah. yeah so can we can at least show the light of this the light's travel. on dim. Well, maybe it's not. Oh, little lights on it's the edge. It's blinking oh, because yeah. there's no water in it. Okay. Oh, yeah. So it's it's a water, it can... But it's also, all of them are a warm white light. Mm -hmm. um, and then you can change, you can put it on. So there's a, like a brighter and then a little bit dimmer of a light. Not that you can tell now, but, um, and then yeah. off if you choose. So 
there is a light option where you have control of the light and you can mm -hmm. make those adjustments if you choose. But but I feel it's kind of like a candle glow. Yeah, yeah. it's like yeah. ambient lighting, not mm -hmm. functional really. Yeah. You, the you the travel book, one's right? a bit more no. functional. Mm -hmm. It adds a little bit more light, yeah. I feel like. Yeah. Okay. Um, so continue to let us know, Darby, Danny, if you see any questions, but we want to talk about making blends. So, you know, the reason you use a diffuser is because you want to smell these amazing oils, mm -hmm. right? And you want to receive the, the therapeutic benefits of these oils. And, um, so not only can you do that with singles, but you can also blend your own singles together to make your own blends or use, you know, a blend that plant therapy has already created for, you know, whatever purpose that blend was specifically created for. So what makes a successful blend? For me, I think it comes down to the concept, like starting with mm -hmm. a really strong concept and knowing what you're trying to achieve when you're blending. So whether that's a therapeutic purpose or for fragrance, mm -hmm. um, really going back to the concept is, is most important because it kind of provides you the foundation of where to even get started. Um, I think if you're blending for fragrance, just knowing like what you're trying to create really helps you to pinpoint those oils that are going to create that experience. Or if you're creating for a therapeutic purpose, knowing that you can dig into the GCMS reports, look at the chemical composition of the oil to really figure out what you need in order to create this end experience. Mm -hmm something that's going to work. Yeah. Yeah, so I think um, the, the one thing that I get really excited about and that is fun to see how everyone blends differently is like talking about the process of creating yeah. a blend. So Katrina, can you talk a little bit about your process? Yeah, well, I think process is an interesting thing to talk about because I don't think, I mean, there's not really one specific way mm -hmm. to do it. It's like an art, you know, everybody kind of has their, their different way that they like to create or they like to blend. For me, the concept of course is super important. And then I like to start with like my base notes. I put mm -hmm. my base notes in first and then I add to it because I know that those, those notes, those heavy oils that I'm using are the ones that are really going to carry and stick around. So I kind of cater to those, mm -hmm. but I know other people kind of start from the middle and go down or up with their base notes or their top notes. Um, so I think it's just down to preference, what makes you comfortable, what makes you enjoy it the most. Mm -hmm. I just think probably the most important thing about blending is keeping notes and knowing so you what you're remember. doing. Keeping notes. I yes. have made so many blends <laughs> where I was like, this is great. And I'm definitely going to remember mm -hmm. how I did this. And I don't. Definitely. Yes. <laughs> it or took a few cream. big failures for me to be like, okay, I need to be very specific. How many drops? Mm -hmm. Like at what point am I adding it? What oils am I using? Mm -hmm. Like, don't think you can remember it. And for me, it's like, I will create something and then I think like, if I like it, I'll write it down. And if I don't like it, I don't write it down. But the thing is, like, it takes blends a few days to really mm -hmm. reach yeah. that accordance, to yeah. really harmonize and create this end product. Yeah. So you have to write it down because you're going to end up, you know, in a week later, you might love that blend and really regret that you didn't. And write that's it down. an important thing to bring up too, is that it does take a little bit for the blends to mature mm -hmm. and really fully incorporate. We have a really neat little machine here. It's a little, <laughs> it's like you put your blend on it and it spins it really I fast. It. There's like a magnet that goes on the bottom, just turns it and it kind of accelerates the time process for um, just how the blend will smell because most times when you make a blend, the way it smells right out of the bottle after you do it is going to be a bit different than the way it'll smell two weeks from that time, just as the oils get more incorporated with each other and as it sits. So that's also really important to consider when you're making blends is that, you know, you need to let it sit for a little bit and then you can reevaluate and hopefully you have your notes to refer back to <laughs> so you know what you did. <laughs> I got to play with that fun little machine in the lab. It is pretty, it's ago. like a little. I had three of them going because I was making up three blends and so I had them and they were like spinning. It's and like a little really cool. magnetic like tic tac. It really is. Yes, that you put like in the yeah. bottom of your blend yeah. and it just spins so fast. That's cute. Um, it is. It, yeah, the first time I saw it, I was like, why do we have Tic Tacs in here? And <laughs> they're so heavy and weird. But and they taste thought, disgusting. I actually, the <laughs> first time I saw them when I went in the lab, I thought they were like little pills or something. And they're like, what is that little pill in the bottom of all those bottles? It's Maybe we should label them. <laughs> 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 More 
extreme. Or These are make magnets. them a color. That <laughs> Please do not swallow them. Yeah. That would be an interesting thing to show you guys on the live too. It's a pretty yeah. small piece of equipment, yeah. and we could yeah, show Debbie you. Yeah, can you show that. us the mm -hmm. magnet one day? It sounds like we will, Debbie. Yeah, I, I am enjoying our customers' comments. Like, yes, keep notes. I learned the hard way. Yeah, and I love yeah. that Kathy yeah. says, "I want a spinner," and I don't. E I don't know if we even called it a spinner. But that's what we call that's it. That's what we call it. <laughs> All I'm our sure spinners. it has a really long, professional-sounding name. But and I Nancy just says I'm a little bit of this and a little and some of that. And yeah. that's how I blend much more. I thought it was interesting to hear how you blend, Katrina, because mm -hmm. I'm much more like intuitive. Mm -hmm. Like I don't start at a note. I just like visualize a blend in my brain and start putting it together based and on intuition. And you dreamt about them before. I've dreamt, yeah. yes, I, have, I dream it about blends. It, what was it, the <laughs> luckiest? Um, luckiest, yeah. That you dreamt mm -hmm. about? Oh, I forget. Yes. I dream about luckiest. <laughs> Not in a different but way. But I think that goes back to like having such a strong concept because for me, like, I'm, when we're blending for seasonal fragrances, I always want to envision what that concept is because I don't just start blending immediately. I let it sit with me. If I'm trying to create like a fall rain blend, I'm going to be thinking about fall rain and trying to figure out what I can put together in order to achieve that blend. And then it comes intuitively, you know, within hopefully a few days. It, sometimes it depends. <laughs> Uh, Tiffany says, I find I like blends in the beginning, but after diffusing for a while, they smell musty. Um, that can happen if the blend is sitting in your diffuser for too long and you just need to replace the water and put some fresh um, oils in. Sometimes that can happen just with continuous diffusion too, mm -hmm. as the volatile compounds are just evaporating so fast and then you're left with these notes that you really didn't want to be as prominent. Um, so or if you don't have enough base notes yes. too. I, I notice um, a lot when my blends are really top note heavy mm -hmm. or even top to middle note mm -hmm. heavy and you don't have enough of those base notes that they do tend to smell a little musty. So I would definitely look at adding some base notes to your blends yeah. as well. And something else, we did some some diffusion testing in the Aroma Fuse and we found out by adding less oils at the beginning and then refreshing mm -hmm. the oils later in your diffusion cycle um, that that actually helped yes. eliminate that mm -hmm. as well instead of doing like you know the five to six drops at the beginning do two to three and then do two to three in four hours yep. so yeah. that also is an option um, yeah. that you can try that we found seem to seem to last longer when you did it that way yeah. as well and it can just vary blend a blend based on the notes and the mm -hmm. composition and the diffuser you're using and how long you're running it for. So it's, sometimes it's kind of, you just have to play with it a little bit to figure out like the sweet spot for that specific blend or even just single essential oil. Yeah, and it's the same, I mean, just with diffusion, you know, like when, you're, when we're smelling a blend, right, we're putting it on a piece of paper mm -hmm. um, and we're smelling what that smells like throughout a period of time, mm -hmm. right? Because it will smell different mm -hmm. because the top notes do come off the middle notes do come off and then you're left with these base notes mm -hmm. that's the same with diffusion mm -hmm. right when you're diffusing those top notes are going to leave first then the middle and then the base notes will leave last so um so if there's a base note that you're you know that you don't even realize you smell that's in there mm -hmm. um and that you might not like that's what you're going to be smelling last so yeah mm -hmm. and that's, jocelyn asked oh, yeah. if there was a base high medium note chart available we do have a chart a available blog post. we have a blog post we have a blog and post when i talked about this in a micro live a couple weeks ago uh, cs actually shared that blog post in the comments okay. so if somebody from cs is watching okay, stephanie and should that, be watching She's that would be great because we do have a blog post that goes into really mm -hmm. extensive detail on the top middle and base okay. notes yeah do we also have a download on the download page don't we no okay i mean katrina thought we did i, I thought, thought we, we did, did too. too i don't know if we did maybe we did at one time mm. i don't think we currently mm. do we had we substitution should. charts and things like maybe that, that's what i was yeah. thinking yeah. of we have a substitution chart but we don't actually have a top middle and base note chart and then oh. it can also be a little convoluted because it doesn't necessarily just break down into top middle base some of them can be top middle some yes. of them can be middle base yes. like you know, so there's like lavender, I know, depending on your blend, could be a top note, right. could be a middle note. Mm -hmm. um, Stephanie if there's other things that are heavier. She shared the blog post, so Stephanie Perfect. has put it in the comments, the blog post that refers to that. Yay. Nice. Okay. So what is your favorite part of creating blends? If you had to have a, you know, just an overall favorite part, is it? My favorite part is when you share it with people oh. and 
they love it. it not so much when they hate it, but <laughs> when you when you see someone, you put, I, I put so much, I think all of us who are blending put so much love and time and effort into these blends, creating these concepts and really trying to nail down that fragrance that I love when I pass it out to people and they're like, I get it and mm -hmm. it smells great and you nailed it. It just, it makes you feel really good that people yeah. are loving what you created. I think my favorite part is the concept, mm -hmm. especially if it's you're trying to like a seasonal blend, you're trying to hit like a certain feel or a certain smell and then to really sit down and think like, does fall rain smell like? Mm. What does a mountain air smell like? Like, and then you, it just, I think it creates like just some space, you know, in your head to really sit and think about aroma in just a really profound kind of way. And so I think that's why I really enjoy the concept of blending as my favorite part. And speaking of these seasonal blends that you ladies are talking mm. about, you know, blending and smelling, mm. um, we have finalized mm our six fall blends mm -hmm. and our six holiday yes. blends. Um, so those have already been made, they have been approved, and now we are in the process of approving those blends in other products, which has not been easy. <laughs> no. It has not been easy for this fall. Oh my goodness, I feel like I've been such a Debbie Downer every time I'm like, Ugh. You know, that the, blend's not working in there. The lab okay. team asked me if you, you had, <laughs> if, if your smelling was okay. <laughs> Are you guys seeing different things than me? Well, I haven't had, I haven't had the chance to chat, chat with you about it, so I don't know like your okay. perspective. So, okay. so we well, can talk we'll, about it and we'll, we'll see. Chat our next one. Yes. I, I do have some samples on my desk though that Rita gets after the lunch. Okay, good. Yes. I do get all but like But I used the hand soaps and I was like, these are awesome. But maybe. Okay, okay. I know. That's the thing. It's so hard because we is. do all have different opinions mm -hmm. and you know, and the things that we might snippers. be looking for might be different. Too. And we just want to yeah. want to create the best product for Absolutely. our customers. Yeah. Experience. Yeah. 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 So that's that's been kind of that's the process we're at now. But all of the blends themselves have been approved, mm -hmm. and um, and there's you know just a couple that I am super extra excited about. There are a couple holiday, holiday ones that I. I'm so excited to mostly like see your guys' reaction yeah. to them. I, yeah. th I think, well, I think you're really going to love them. If for fall and holiday, if we're going to have some previous ones return as well as some new ones. And yeah. yes, in fact, it's kind of a 50 50. We yeah. have like, got some, some new favorites ones some... coming back, got some new stuff coming yeah. out. So it's going to be really exciting for both fall and holiday. And yeah. I'm ex excited for holiday this year because um, we are looking at holiday and winter, yeah. right? Mm -hmm. We're trying to create this experience um, that lasts through winter as well that isn't just like very holiday focused. Um, and I think that's really exciting, especially around here. I feel like January is like real winter in Twin yeah, Falls. Yeah, January and, and February. so I want Like to the have... holiday's gone. What's gonna yes. get us through January? Yes. It's just gray and cold and windy. <laughs> so I love that we've really taken this concept of creating more winter blends along with our holiday blends so our customers yeah. can get a little bit of both. Yeah, and the winter blends oh my are gosh. so I, on I point and amazing. Yeah. I can't even stuck one of them like, all the way up my nose. Like, <laughs> yeah, yeah, was I, so I just wanted it to be like a part of my soul. Like Katrina and I, like we have them at our desk, and I sat there and I just like I'm just gonna sit <laughs> this for an extra long time. Just close up your one nostril. Yeah, we had a really so hard good. time this year, so we the process that we go through is our blending team submits. Um, they submitted six blends total. Total. And Katrina, Darby, and I kind of looked through them, reviewed them, picked our four favorites, and gave those to Retha to give the final sign off. But it was so hard mm -hmm. because all six were, we're just so like, good. they nailed it. It was really, really tough to, to narrow it down. And two of them I couldn't choose between. Mm -hmm. And so I actually reached out to some customers mm -hmm. and asked them to choose for me <laughs> <laughs> because I, I couldn't choose. And one of them um, in particular, it, I'll give a hint that it has lavender in mm -hmm. it and I, I wasn't very happy about that because you know I'm not a lavender fan and when I first smelled it I was like I get the lavender you know that's unfortunate um, <laughs> but I don't smell I don't smell blends just once right mm -hmm. like we're using them in lots of different ways making sure that you know we enjoy it and the longer I smelled that one it actually became my favorite mm -hmm. out of all the winter blends um, because although I got lavender at the very beginning, like it has such 
such a warmth to it. I can't even explain. It's, it's so cozy. It is so <laughs> I know. I feel cozy like we keep sitting and warm, and like your desert. Like, you know, so, no. <laughs> I, think, I think the more we sit here and talk, beans are going to be spilled. Those are very because you know how we are. You Which know how is a hint. On here. Winter bean might be. <laughs> Winter bean might Winter be one beans. of them. They're so good. They are so good. I'm. I think I'm most excited about these winter ones. I am too. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I'm really glad that we, and we took so on this unique. concept. They are nothing like yes. we've offered before during yeah. the holidays, which is just or like winter any beans. Time. Yeah, like winter beans. I think Danny wants a winter beans. One, so <laughs> I, I don't know how we would make that, Danny. But uh, well, we'll I do beans. have. I'd like to submit. An idea. Oh boy! On the live. Here we then go. You guys are like forced to baby think about it. So what if we had? If you guys could see Danny's face, <laughs> yeah, I know he can't. So, like, he's like he's ready. Because I'm so excited. Is there a way for our product development team to come up with something that would allow you to screw a bottle <gasps> directly into your nostril? I mean, it's a lot of safety concerns yeah. with that. I don't think yeah. that would pass regulatory. Yeah. I'm just going to put that out there. Mucous membranes in your nose are a little sensitive. <laughs> that could be That's a little kind of painful. Okay. Well, I mean, we could create like a mask where you just like, no, that's a terrible idea. We are talking about all these winter things that are happening, and we're just getting out of winter. I, I know. It's so oh, like yeah. 75 degrees here in 20. I think we today, need a I summer know. hint. I saw people saying any oh. summer multi surface cleaners mm. coming. Mm. Who wants to give a summer hint? Uh, Katrina does. I do? Yes. <laughs> She's not convinced. Um, I'm not summer convinced. was so like seven months ago. I know, I know. I'm, I'm not, we're I'm already not, like I'm working on next week. I just, remember finished, what we're I doing just for finished summer. up some summer products. Oh, so we, we are you yeah. 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 oh, oh, I got a couple of our summer products. I got them in their final packaging. Ooh, yesterday. so cute. So cute. Wait, like, I can't I'm even think love. of what they look like. I'll oh, show no. you today. I'll show you that today. I've got <laughs> some things in there. Um, I know. Oh, I know what. I know the one of them. The, yeah. It's yeah. The, oh, they are Customers such Customers, I think cool that's a packaging. really weird description. It's, but it's no. kind of like that <laughs> boho look it's to me. It's so like, cool. Yeah. I was yeah. really, yeah. the designers did an so amazing. So a hint, I guess, is there's going to be a couple returning. Mm -hmm. One of them is one of my top five most favorite blends okay. of all time. Mm -hmm. And I've worked with it a lot for some of our product, mm -hmm. our products coming out this summer, and I'm super excited about it. And then we have one brand new one. Mm -hmm. And the only hint that I'll give is there was a discussion during the development phase about putting a cow on the bottle. <laughs> oh. I love that hint. I totally forgot about that. The designers know. weren't so what sure that about means. that one, huh? And so people are going to think that's the weirdest hint ever. I but love that But that's the only that thing hint. I'll say is the new one coming out, there was discussion of putting a cow's face. Uh, this, <laughs> is the, this is the sour milk one. This is the dairy oh. It took me a minute to get to you know it. And now I know what it is. But yeah. I was like, why would we put a cow on yeah, our now you know. Oh, yep, right. I know. Oh, that's mm -hmm. funny. I Can do I give a hint? My favorite animal. <laughs> cheese, cheese curds. curds. <laughs> <laughs> Ooh. Now I want some cheese curds. Or <laughs> So I, I'm just going to say there have been um, one customer says that they, they hope we're bringing something back, that customers' dreams are going to come true. And the other customer may or may not have um, actually like said the name of the Man, and I thought that was close. like a really weird hint, but some people, they're good. They're, they're, they're yes, good. sour milk. Sour April milk, you got it. That's what it is. <laughs> it's the smell of summer, sour milk. <laughs> it's, and um, cheese. It's fantastic. Um, I will give another hint. Katrina hmm. may have uh -oh. mentioned in her discussion of enjoying creating blends, right? Okay. One of them. One oh, of the she blends did. that are coming in. She did. It yeah. has a different name now, but she okay. did. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Anyway. I don't, I don't remember. even remember I, what I, I said. I guess go back and listen to Katrina. I don't know what you said. I you guess said, I dropped a big hint. that was an old name, and it has yeah, a different but, name now, but uh, yeah, I know what you're talking about. Right. Mm. Right. Was it on this one. live, or you yeah. mean the last? No, it was earlier. Hmm. All time. right. <laughs> she's not alive in December. I guess I don't know what I'm talking oh, about. Oh, gosh. And there's some people in the comments that have a very good memory, and they remember what she was talking <laughs> okay. about. So. <laughs> That's fun. So I think um, we've talked a lot about blends, but 
we have to talk a little bit more about diffusers. One thing that we get asked a lot is, when do you use passive diffusion mm -hmm. versus active diffusion? What is the best time and place for doing that? Yeah. So again, in public spaces, I definitely recommend starting with your passive diffuser. I mean, our Lotus diffuser is a great example of something that can just sit right next to you on your desk. Um, look adorable. I, look adorable. <laughs> I have a passive diffuser on my desk, and I'm always honestly a little surprised. Wait, wait. Wait, wait. <laughs> there may be a reason for that. Right. Okay. <laughs> I'm always a little surprised when a couple hours after I add some blends to it and I take a sniff and I'm like, oh, oh yeah, mm -hmm. I, I have that on there. And it's still, you know, it's still gently around like my area. But of course, passive diffusion, I, it's not really so comparable, I think, to ultrasonic or right. nebulizing. You don't have a mechanism that's pushing those aroma particles out. It's just um, you're smelling it through just natural, the natural evaporation process. Which is actually what makes it safe to use mm -hmm. around children, around mm -hmm. pets, more than an ultrasonic diffusion would, like this would yeah, be. Yeah, so I mean, when you're thinking of jewelry, that's passive diffusion. If you're doing a cotton ball adding mm -hmm. to it, maybe putting it under your pillowcase, that's passive diffusion. So it has a lot of really wonderful applications. Um, but it's just different because it's just the natural evaporation process rather than a mechanism that's pushing, pushing it out into a wider area. Mm -hmm. So we have, Utah has a Lotus diffuser. Mm -hmm. We also have the um, reed diffusers. Mm -hmm. I was going to say the things with the stick, but then I thought of the name. We have the reed diffusers. We have the aromatherapy inhalers, which mm -hmm. we're actually out of right now, but we have the pre-scented ones, mm -hmm. right. which would still be a yeah. passive diffusion. And we have our aroma plushes. And, and which the is also crystal plushes and the crystal the car, car fresh. fresh. Thank yeah. you. Car yeah. fresh. All of those mm -hmm. are types of passive Diffusion. And the crystal car fresh is fun because you're kind of incorporating, yes, it's passive diffusion, but the air vent in mm -hmm. your car is pushing it out towards you. So it's just kind of a neat little way to combine Is your those air two on things. or is your air off? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, lots of, so there's lots of ways to do passive diffusion. And honestly, I would say our candles. <laughs> or as long as Rita form. doesn't eat them. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Rita doesn't eat the candles. Um, I was actually unboxing them at the store yesterday and I was like, they mm -hmm. are candles. That cold throw yeah. is just like the cold throw of a know. candle. Also, passive would diffusion. Would be passive the diffusion. The boxes, and it's even if you have the boxes, I remember in the store once we took them out of the boxes, like mm -hmm. the box, you could sit there and smell and get mm -hmm. passive diffusion because they still smell like the yeah. candles. Yeah, yeah. There's lots of lots of ways, but but those are some of the products that we specifically sell to help with passive diffusion. Yeah. Yeah, what's your favorite? Anybody have a favorite way to use? So, is your favorite at your desk? Would you yeah. say, or do you mm -hmm. have a for sure. At my desk, it's an energizing blend. It's just yeah. nice to get hit in the face with a little Mei Chang and women every so often. Like, oh yeah. Who doesn't Woo. like it? Focus. 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 Uh, for me, I often diffuse the most when my family is dealing with an illness. Like, mm -hmm. you guys know my husband is a huge, like, wax melt slash candle fan. So we don't diffuse a lot at home unless somebody is sick. And so I will diffuse a lot of like germ destroyer in the house yep. mm -hmm. or if somebody has been over that has the sniffles and I don't kick them out immediately. <laughs> <laughs> like spraying like, them <laughs> as they leave. <laughs> um, I'll go ahead and uh, break out my diffuser and diffuse that way. But we really do enjoy the more passive methods, yeah. I would say, with candles or even um, like our lotus, putting it beside the bed table uh, mm -hmm. just so we can smell it, but it's not like yeah. too much. Yeah, I'm yeah. the same same way for us. I do way more passive diffusion diffusion than I do actual mm -hmm. diffusion. Um, yeah, because it's often when we're sick. And I have the passive, the lotus in all of our bathrooms, which mm -hmm. is fun. And, you know, just going and refreshing them every yes. so often and mm -hmm. coming up and having the kids be like, oh, the bathroom smells good. What did you put on this time? You know, just things like that. It's always fun and, and you get to switch it out a lot. And, and I love seeing when pretty. customers like decorate yeah. their, pass, their, their Lotus, Lotus diffuser. It's mm -hmm. so cute. Yeah, it yeah. is cute. Okay, have you seen the last questions that we we should be answering. Can we talk about that April Fool's? That's what I was going to so say. Funny. I had a lot of people commenting about that really uh, awesome April Fool's Kudos to Danny. Yeah, that, that, was, video that was hilarious. Video. That video was so fun. Yeah, I, I didn't read the comments until last night. <laughs> I read a video. lot of the comments uh, yesterday, and it was so funny to see. Oh, I we just got a laughed. lot of people, guys. Like, <laughs> there was like, I saw multiple people say, 
I was so ready. Like I clicked on that because I thought it was going to sell out because it was such a great idea. So I hurry and went on there. But what I did see that I thought was really cool, and I thought this was neat that we did this, is customer said when you actually click on it, like to go to the product page, it takes you to blends that we actually mm -hmm. carry that are yeah. similar. And um, they actually ended up buying some of those blends. That's what made me laugh like the that. hardest. I was at the store, so I wasn't able to look on any social media during the day. Um, but on my way home that night, I was looking. I was just laughing because so many customers were like, oh, I wish you really sold these oils. And it was so funny to see some of our customers respond like, they do. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> you can buy this. Like, wow. one, one was Pete. I, I haven't seen Pete call it, but if Pete's on, oh my gosh. <laughs> I was laughing so hard. He was like, you don't need in capital letters those blend because you can buy <laughs> yeah. the whole same thing. Like, yeah. I was it's, laughing so we, hard at the interactions. We did interactions this to our customers between. a couple of years ago. So customers have been with us for a little We've while. We've done it a few we times. We did this yeah, the, uh, a lot the decades. Of, the decades. The decades. Yeah. 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 We actually and a lot of customers were like, they actually brought those on. And I was like, we really won't bring these ones on because <laughs> yeah. we're really we so awesome. Really yeah, we already have them. They just have different names. <laughs> it, I was laughing so hard as, yeah. as I was reading through these comments. And for me, I was like, it all makes sense now. Like, I'm a mom, and that whole explanation that Danny gave, like, they're sucking my energy. Well, you literally shout like, out to our yeah. marketing <laughs> team, too. Like, I yeah. uh, saw yeah, a lot of comments idea. on the bottles. Like, the design mm -hmm. of the bottles was so real. I love the, so like, fun. why am I so anxious? Yeah. Yeah. Like, <laughs> like, <laughs> like, like, you got electrocuted or something. And, you know, that scientist that made a guest appearance. Okay. I I know, yeah. so yeah. smart. He was so smart. <laughs> so smart. Was, I wonder who that was. <laughs> it was so funny because one He's of the comments I saw. He's going to start testing all and improving all of our products. <laughs> yeah, one of the comments I saw said, I love plant therapy, but I'm really struggling to support somebody who... <laughs> Let's their scientists wear a mask incorrectly. I, I was like, it might even everybody. got his chin diaper I, on. I, know, I, like, I, I don't think he's a real scientist. Did I think see? honestly that kind of added to just how funny it is. Well, and his title was like lab coat. Something really weird. Yeah. Yeah, and what like, was his name? Like It was, it was uh, Jami was his last name. <laughs> Siobhan, Siobhan, Jami or something. Siobhan Jami. Which, oh, that doesn't mean so he's not funny. official just because he's got a name that you're not used to. No, no. I, I just couldn't remember his <laughs> name. It was delightful. I saw multiple companies do pranks really similar to that one. Mm -hmm. And I'm not going to lie. If I did not like just mentally know that it was April Fool's Day, there was a couple of them that I thought. I was like, really? I'm like, One of no, my influencers that I follow totally pranked me. And I'm not happy about it. <laughs> <laughs> but Janae was said a lot of the people want to buy the oils now for the, the labels. And mm. yeah, I saw a lot of that. And I, I think mm -hmm. that's awesome because I get it. Right, like we have a lot of nighttime blends, mm -hmm. but one that's one that's called 9 p.m. bedtime. <laughs> like, I get why you want that right. one over yeah. one that's called sleeping. Right. So I totally get it. It was just yeah. I just love seeing the interactions where people were like, you can buy one that helps with back pain. <laughs> like, <laughs> yeah, <you know>? yeah. <laughs> we do so have funny. these. <laughs> it was just so great. I'm glad yeah. that. I mean, really, I saw one comment where someone was like, I don't love when companies do April Fools' jokes, but all the rest of them mm -hmm. were just fantastic. So. Mm -hmm. We hope that you, you know, can laugh at Yeah, give you a little, a little giggle. Little fun. Funny little thing like that. Yeah. Anyways. Okay. Um, I think we have a game to play. We Ooh. do. Maybe. What time is that? Oh, yeah. We're, we're we okay, okay on time. Not crazy. Okay. Here you go. Okay. Oh, here thank comes, you. Here comes the game. Here, it, oh, oh, we should get our own. Oh, yeah. Yes. No. Danny, oh, that's that adorable. Lovely. That so <laughs> oh, I just, um. It's fine. Got a little itch I thought I was going to sneeze. <laughs> so this game is, we've played it once before. Yes. Mm -hmm. But uh, we are going to create a blend. Um, what we're going to do, let's do two rounds at least. And okay. what we'll do is this first round, uh, each of you, Emily, you take the top note. You're going to come up with a top note. Okay. Oil. Retha, a middle note. Okay. And Katrina, a base note. And then we're going to see, without talking to each other, uh, if those would actually blend together well. So go ahead and write down your face. <laughs> you guys, oh my gosh. Those became really itchy. Uh -oh. I'm like tearing up over here. Well, you no peeking, Rita. A napkin. Excuse me? Don't peek. <laughs> <laughs> it's kind of awkward. Yeah. Yeah, I, I'm sorry. 
I was trying to get I actually into... don't know if this is a middle, but I think it is. <laughs> you can hear the marker. I know. I'm going over my head. Because it's a dry erase <laughs> marker on paper. I know. It's I I've tried to go into the office supply place twice this morning <laughs> and we're doing meetings and so I walk in. Oh yeah. So okay. There you go. Okay, let's uh, start with our base note because that's what Katrina oh. does. Vanilla. Okay. Oh, that's a good one. Not cheese. with this. Oh. <laughs> with oh, mine, I'm it's good. good. Okay, vanilla and uh, what's our middle is note? Rosemary. rosemary. Yes. Yes, yes, it can be, right? It is. Oh, ew. Oh. Huh. <laughs> I mean, maybe like one drop of rosemary and primarily lime and vanilla. Lime and, vanilla. Vanilla. and I actually think rosemary and lime could do really well together. Mm -hmm. It's the vanilla, rosemary and vanilla that's yeah. really yeah. good. It's a little too, like, weird. I think of the foods, like if you're mixing food. What would be a better... Yeah, so middle. now that you've seen those. Customers, give us a middle note. Let's that fix would this go blend. with vanilla yeah. and lime. Because yeah. we're going to take this one. Vanilla out. and lime wouldn't be. Too it's bad. delicious. Like, be I right. love lime. vanilla and lime. <laughs> love lime. I thought vanilla was a good, safe base note. Until you saw rosemary. <laughs> Until you saw rosemary. <laughs> I know. I was like, how okay. could you mess up a vanilla blend? Customers, <laughs> we need a good middle note. We to need go a good. This. Yeah, okay. Don't have, we don't want rosemary, Debbie. So. Magnolia. Oh, magnolia. Magnolia. With oh, the lime? Okay. Yeah, I think that could In work. In the vanilla? It could work. Is it Ylang Ylang? Ylang, Ylang is a base. Yep. Ylang is like a base middle. Really? Mm. Yeah. A yeah. Spearmint. It's so is strong. a spearmint middle or is it top? It's mm. kind of both. It, it can, can be both top. So what do we think of spearmint, vanilla, and I lime? I hate spearmint. She hates spearmint. <laughs> oh <laughs> Don't ask gosh. me about that. The passion. Uh, it's it's really one of my least favorite. Like, I know Reese is not a fan of lavender, but lavender sometimes Lavender, lime, and vanilla. Maybe some, like, ginger? To give it a little spice. Oh. Maybe some black pepper. Black pepper. That's, uh, that's, 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 like, black that's another pepper secret. Everything. Everything. Right. I'm just going to put black pepper from now on. Black, <laughs> black pepper actually just solves every single thing. Oh, yeah, coffee. I really like uh, I, is coffee's probably a base. I think so. Base. Yeah, yeah coffee's more of a base. Yeah. Karen said fur. Fur. A With lot a of you. conifers. With our a U, middle so note. I was thinking yeah. oh, like fur. furry, like, like, but fur. no, Boots that makes sense. Fur? Yeah, a fur would be good. Boots with the fur. <laughs> That's the first thing I thought about. No. Ginger. Okay. Kim, got, Kim wants ginger, lime, and vanilla. Yeah, I feel like I, I think we should try it. I want to give that a try. I think that Ooh. sounds pretty lovely. I like Debbie's. She said masoya. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Masoya yeah. bark yeah, smells kind of nice. sweet. Is masoya, would that be a middle or a base? I would say like middle base. Probably pretty close to Okay, it. so here you go. Try it out at home. <laughs> okay, Lime, guys. Ginger, vanilla. We're going to do one more round. Vanilla. This round is um, we're going to have you the put the lime and the coconut. Pick the top. Ooh, note. okay. So, oh. so we're going to start with the customers. Start listing top notes, base notes. But I'm not going to tell them which one I pick? Or? You don't tell them which one okay. you pick. Okay, start right. listing top notes. Yeah, top so notes. Top notes first. Top notes, and then uh, Emily's going to pick top a top notes. Top notes. Customers list top notes. Top. So really, it's the one thing I know about top notes is citruses are top notes. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yes. Mm -hmm. Yep. It's it's when you open a blend and you smell it. Usually that first kind of thing that Pop. pops, pops. And then it's gone. So <laughs> is it true that a top note is evaporates going to have the a quickest? Is that what makes like it usually. a top note? Mm -hmm. Yep. Yep. Okay. okay, I found one. Okay, oh, there's right. a lot That's to my choose from. Yeah. yeah, that was good. Okay, oh, and they're also now good. Now start listing middle notes. It's hard to mess up on right now. going to choose All right, middle, a notes. middle note. A middle note. I feel and like middle, middle notes, are... notes is like most. Yeah. Yeah. Most herbal oils, mm -hmm. most spicy Oregano. oils. Would that Pretty be much it? if it's not super woodsy or super citrusy, it's more than likely a middle note. That's what's yeah. I feel like oregano would have to be a base note just because it's such it's a punch so, to yeah. your face. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> and it lingers. It's a long, long lingering smell. Yeah. Okay, so they're coming black in. Black pepper. I'm liking what I'm seeing. I, yeah, black pepper is one of my favorites. Um, basil. Okay. Blue I, I chose Z. Would that be a I, middle or a blue base? Blue tansy is more of a base. I would say okay. base, yeah. Mm -hmm. Oh, juniper berries. Yes. Oh, oh, juniper, juniper berries. Oh, but yeah, you guys right. already chose. Well, that's, that's okay. good. No, this is good. Okay. 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 And now we need a base. Now we need base. a base note, everybody. Oh, these are my favorite bases. Yep. So think heavy oils. Woo. 
Anytime a bottle says shake well before use, <laughs> you know there's a lot of you have candy. to if you have to sit and like yeah, if you have, you have your bottle upside out. down for <laughs> if you smell it and it feels like it slapped your punch you in the face, those are usually <laughs> yeah. Yeah. I see coffee. I should have done carrot seed. <laughs> I see I see vetiver. Oh. oh I should have done uh, carrot cardamom. Mm. Uh, that a very sweet lot I know what beer. she's writing just mm -hmm. because I see her I hands. saw the <laughs> Me oh, too. Patchouli. Oh, patchouli. Oh, yeah. patchouli. Green patchouli. One of my favorites. Amazing. Maybe okay. I should have okay. patchouli. Okay. Okay. okay Let's ready? see what okay. we got. Let's start with the top note this time. Grapefruit. Grapefruit. Oh, Grapefruit. Am I going to ruin it again? Mm -hmm. Nutmeg. Nutmeg. No, I don't know. I no, know. I think gra grapefruit and nutmeg. Okay. Vetiver. Uh, vetiver. I mean, I'm going to love the vetiver. I feel like the vetiver ruined it. No, I know. Emily, you can't count those. You I, like I got to be honest, with fun. nutmeg and vetiver, I don't even think you would smell the grapefruit unless that was like 90% yeah. of the blend. Yeah. I guess if yeah. Yeah. These are really yeah. overpowering. Spice, but like walking if through it the was that 90% of the blend, it actually might be lovely. 98% grapefruit, one drop nutmeg, one drop vetiver. <laughs> that could yeah, work. That, actually, that's kind of nice. I actually really want Spinner someone to make this up. Out. It, it Here. blows my We're mind. We're going to hand this to Katrina. <laughs> She's going to make that okay. blend for us. Let's give it a shot. We'll put it on the spinner in the lab. Yeah. Oh. So you I've know, always, I oh man, I wish we could I've do always it right been now. surprised at the, the, the stuff that ends up smelling good. And I can't remember what the blend was, but there was a blend not too long ago, and I could not believe what was in it Sometimes and how it smelled. Sometimes they come across, like when we're writing our briefs and stuff on it, maybe it's one that I haven't really smelled and I'm just looking at the oils like, how the heck is that gonna work? Yeah, <laughs> how, yeah. okay, but what? I feel like Katrina is a magical blender because some oh, of yeah. her blends that you have put out, like the ready, set, go set, mm -hmm. I was like, I would have never thought to blend these together and they were beautiful. Sometimes I think you're a magician. I mean, you just need to experiment. Mm -hmm. Just because, yeah. I mean, yeah. this looks rough to me, but maybe it's fantastic. <laughs> maybe it's like a bright, just, spicy, earthy. Just, yeah, I'm just imagining like this really kind of spicy grounding and then you just have like this mm, from the grapefruit. I'm just thinking like, like I think spicy. It's I'm not sold. I'm, I'm running not through the spicy forest. <laughs> <laughs> spicy forest. <laughs> With grapefruits <laughs> flying. Grapefruits <laughs> flying. <laughs> So this would be Emily's nightmare. What she would come up with in, in a nightmare. We'll have a nightmare blend. It's the dreaming in her nightmare. Blend. I probably so have bad. had a dream about that. <laughs> a spicy forest I with grapefruits a, flying at you. I said earlier when you were talking about dreaming of blends, Emily, she said that she dreams about her smoothie ingredients. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not about the only that. one. <laughs> I love that. That's fantastic. Okay, we um, and then as in we, I mean Katrina. Mm -hmm. and it has Katrina, a, you don't have to. Move ooh, it's right here. DIY it's right here. All I figured. Us. Um, and then we're gonna give some diffusers away. So that's going to be exciting. Yeah, and that's actually kind of ties nicely right in. We have three here. I think we have our top note, which is kumquat. Middle note is black pepper, and sandalwood mm -hmm. is a race note. Mm -hmm. So do we have the recipe? Oh, I can't remember what the yep. name of this uh, blend was. It was it was on the blog. It says Peace of Peace Paradise. Of Paradise. Oh, of Paradise. Mm. Okay. It's that black pepper, I'm telling you. Something special about that yeah, black pepper. You know, I, black pepper is in some really good mm -hmm. smelling stuff. I have customers, I used to have customers ask me all the time if black, cause black pepper smells like ground pepper, because mm. that's kind of what our brains go to. Mm -hmm. And it really doesn't, it doesn't have that like ground pepper smell. It's kind of yeah. hard to describe, but it's different than like if you're sitting and grinding yeah. up peppercorns. To me, it, it smells a lot different than that. Oh, yeah. it's so good. I love But I, love I get the, pepper. I get the black pepper grounding. Do you? Actually. See, and mm -hmm. I couldn't, like to I me, because I always think of like sneezing when I think I, of ground pepper. I feel like so. it's like when I move it away from my nose, I get that mm -hmm. black pepper mm -hmm. smell, like the, what you're familiar with. But the, <laughs> Ooh, <yeah. laughs> yeah. Yeah. to me, I got that smell more from pink berries back when we yeah. were yes. pink like berries. Pink berries are a bit oh, spicier. Pink I love it definitely berries. smelled like ground pepper, which it was so crazy because customers would get so excited. It was in a cute little pink bottle and it mm -hmm. has berries. And I'm like, oh, I bet this smells so sweet. And I'm like, 
It smells like pepper. <laughs> it's gonna yeah, I, you I off. think I get the pepper from and it. And I don't as much. I'm with Darby in the Darby boat. Like I don't Darby boat. Oh, I love that. Darby boat. She's in the Darby boat. To me, I feel like if I was to put like if I was to dump a bunch of black pepper, that air that it releases, mm -hmm. that's mm -hmm. what I get from it. Mm. I do. Yeah. I, gotcha. I love it though. I'm feeling you. Thank yeah. you. Okay, so <laughs> I just felt bad for it. Really like that's enough. Won't even <laughs> <laughs> For our piece of Paradise Diffuser Blend, we're going to do two drops of kumquat. Oh, That's I love kumquat. It's yeah, so kumquat. good. Whoa. Kumquats are fun to eat. Oh, oh, there's yeah, three drops in there. Three oh, drops. I'm, I'm impressed really that there's I, only three. I wasn't being very careful. Yeah, they're like little <laughs> tiny oranges. Well, we'll do black pepper. One drop of black pepper. Nice. Ooh, one drop. That's hard. Oh, she made oh. it. I, I did make up. Ooh. Okay. <laughs> you had to make up for the comfort. Yeah. Okay. And then we have two drops of Indian sandalwood. This is an expensive blend. And just so people, <laughs> just so our customers watching know, because I, I get people asking the difference between Indian and Australian sandalwood, Indian is a lot deeper smelling. If you like that really deep woodsy, like think if you like the vetiveers and stuff mm -hmm. like that, you're probably going to gravitate towards the Indian sandalwood. because More than the Australian. Mm -hmm. Okay. Now we're going to try it. Mm. See what it smells like. And what it says on the bottom it says an indulgent exotic mm -hmm. escape this sumptuous blend Ooh, can help a tired sumptuous. mind stay open and on point while practicing meditation or other oh, introspective oh self-care huh? who wrote that description that's beautiful it was not i that's really it's I a lot brighter than i thought it would be here i'm just smelling the kumquat i can't smell anything yet <laughs> oh, oh yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Oh, yeah. You definitely get the kumquat oh, right yeah, on top. That is different than I Ooh, expected. Oh, that's lovely. I love that. Leave it going. Yeah. I want to smell oh, it Oh, I mean, it, I really just am imagining myself mm -hmm. in a yoga studio mm -hmm. right now. Yep. That, it smells like a yoga studio. Mm -hmm. <laughs> it really I haven't does. been in one, but not, that scares me. Not a me. hot yoga studio. <laughs> not a sweaty person okay. yoga studio. Like sweat, just I'm actually really quite impressed with that. Yeah, that's really nice. When you were doing that, all I could smell was the kumquat, mm -hmm. but as soon as I got mm -hmm. that full, it was like the sandalwood. Instantly just, grounding. Oh, yeah. yeah. That was I'm really surprised by the sandalwood actually oh, I can smell coming it. out as well as it did. <laughs> Man, I want to go over there. It's smell right now. <laughs> I told I told them to leave oh, that going <laughs> for after the live. I've had a good smell. <laughs> Very lovely. I just hit myself in the head. It's well, the hat actually. Stephanie Livingston wants to know if it smells like suntan lotion because that's no. what she's envisioning. Mm, no. So it does no. not smell like suntan lotion. No. It smells uh, like it's not the tropical smell. Yeah, like to me, the maybe tiara like, flower, like the deodorant and the body mm. butter have always reminded me of like suntan lotion. Like maybe it doesn't have a deep, coconut dark smell. Dark jungle. Like I'm imagining like this dark cave, I've like never, Jumanji I've never style, been to a but a little jungle. bit warm. Like a oh yeah, warm. it has to be warm, but it's like cave-ish mm -hmm. maybe, like a, a a hot spring in a cave. Mm. I mean, it's good. Mm. Yeah, that's really nice. So Definitely recommend it. A, there's a really good question mm. from TD on YouTube. They say, my son is asking me if vanilla oleo resin is the same as the vanilla extract that we bake with. What do I tell him? Um, it's very similar, yes. Um, the extract extraction methods are a little bit different. Um, uh, it comes down to the vanillin content, so it is much stronger than your typical vanilla extract that you would buy from the store. So much more concentrated. Yeah. Can we answer Samantha Hathaway, who wants to know who is the fox buddy on the couch holding hands with? Mm. We were waiting. I was waiting. <laughs> <laughs> This is <laughs> <laughs> they're, they're, <laughs> they're waiting for the fox buddy to talk. This is um, Flat Raylin. Um, and one of our customers, her daughter actually sent us her Flat Raylin, which is based off of the Flat Stanley book. Um, which I have not read the book, but I have learned that Flat Stanley, a billboard falls on him. <laughs> Poor Stanley. And he sends himself all over the world. And so um, a class uh, was doing this project. Ray Lynn sent us ours, and we want, or Ray Lynn sent us hers, and we wanted her to be on the show with us. Yeah, yeah so we're taking Flat Ray Lynn all mm -hmm. around Twin Falls, mm -hmm. Idaho, um, and having her participate in a lot of, you know, 
Twin Falls things, <laughs> um, as well as participate on some of, you know, awesome plant therapy things like this live. So I loved that this amazing little customer wanted plant therapy to participate. Yes, face. who yeah. has some fantastic coloring skills. She like has that. butterflies on her face. Yes, she really does. does. Really so, took so the time cute. to make something she did such a great so job. wonderful. And we have to give a shout out to customer satisfaction. Yes. Stephanie yeah. actually is kind of heading this up, I think. Um, yeah. Stephanie, one of our customer satisfaction awesome the gurus. I don't know. <laughs> I like that. Awesome the gurus. <laughs> <laughs> so anyway, yeah, customer satisfaction. You guys rock. We love you. Yeah. Yeah. Somebody yeah. thought that it was a cartoon version of Bradley. <laughs> 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 We're gonna have to take Raylan to see. I that actually thing. saw that comment twice. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, is that supposed to be Bradley? <laughs> well, it needs to be now. You know, I just came up with a new idea for Flat Raylan. She needs her picture taken with Bradley. Yeah, yeah. apparently. Yeah. So fun. I oh want to see goodness. if Bradley has a purple sweater he can wear. <laughs> it's a butterfly pants. Butterfly pants. <laughs> Some bright green shoes. We'll have Bradley match the outfit. <laughs> I oh, wouldn't be totally too surprised. Mm. That would be so fun. <laughs> it's pretty stylish. Our CS team does rock. It's mm -hmm. so cool that um, I got the email from Tyler, who manages our CS team, and he was like, do you think this is something that we could do? And I was like, 100%. You, your team, they will rock it, and they are. Um, so it's so fun. So fun for Raylan and so fun for our team to get to participate in. Yeah. So. Uh, they were ho one, oh, Pete, Shaley was, was wanting to see if earlier. we could get up close. <laughs> Rita, if you pick her up I can just go to your camera I tried zooming in um, <laughs> I'll sorry, lift her up just a little bit so I'm we sorry can see you her had to shoot. see that face yay <laughs> face. and then they did something special to Flora Fox too you yeah, gotta show them that I thought that was really cool do you see they put Ray Lynn's name right on Flora's name and like I love that cute little bar and her little yeah mm -hmm. so cute, so cute. <laughs> good job guys so cute. Okay, we're going to tape Raylan back to the couch. <laughs> okay, so I did promise you a diffuser giveaway. We are going to be giving away how many diffusers? Wait for it. How many Three. do we want? Three of Three our large. Three Terrafuse Deluxe diffusers. Wow. So it's these large Ooh. ones. Um, if you win, if you're one of the customers that win, you will get to choose your color, whether it's the cream or the brown. But a total of three winners. You must enter via the giveaway link before midnight tonight. And um, the giveaway link will be posted in the comment section as well as in the live description here when we post it on Instagram and on YouTube. Um, so make sure you go and enter that giveaway. Have all your family and friends enter the giveaway and three lucky winners are going to win their color choice of the TerraFuse Deluxe diffuser. So good luck I have a to question. everyone. Can plant therapy employees enter this? <laughs> no. <laughs> I thought it was worth Asking for a friend, right? I haven't, I haven't bought mine yet. So. <laughs> well, there's a couple samples actually sitting behind your desk. Oh. I, don't, I don't, do they work? They do work. Oh, okay. I yeah. guess we'll find out. Oh, yeah. <laughs> One of the samples we got, I remember commenting to Ashley about something. It wasn't working right. And so she was like, okay, I'll send it to the you know, the manufacturer, and they were like, that is not a working diffuser. Do not <laughs> there's put water in there's nothing in it to make it go. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, oops. <laughs> My bad. Anyways, thank you for joining us today on our Plant Therapy Live. We hope you enjoyed learning a little bit more about blending, listening to these two girls' passion. <laughs> it was my question, and I was like, I don't blend anything. I'll mix oils at home, but I don't actually blend blends, you know. Um, so it was fun to hear about their passion when blending, and, and we hope you learned something about the diffusers. Um, you know, hopefully, if you do have any other questions, feel free to reach out to CS, and, and they'll be happy to help you. It's at CS at PlantTherapy.com. Um, and if you enjoyed today's show, Show, please let us know by commenting, liking, um, sharing the lives, and subscribing to our channels. You can subscribe to our YouTube channel and our podcast channel. And for those of you that are interested in our podcast channel, we always do a show after the show on the podcast. Um, so it has a little bit more than what you get to see on these lives when you're watching live. Um, so go and check that out and subscribe so you can be notified when we post new podcasts. Yeah, Find out a deep, dark Darby secret. That a lot of don't know. Deep, dark. <laughs> so I wasn't even here. I don't even well, know. Well, now deep, dark Darby. You were here last secret. week and listen, and or if you haven't, okay. Listen to podcasts podcast. will be listened to right after a this. A secret that Darby does not openly share with a lot of people. And, it's, oh, it's, it's, and now it's out to the whole world. <laughs> okay, I'm excited. 
I'm excited. Um, we are going to be having micro lives throughout the week just to help you know, educate, answer questions, um, have a little fun with our customers, and then join us next Friday as we talk about pets and furry friends. Super oh, cool. so that maybe there'll be a little something. Shih Tzu here. Oh, please, I, please bring him with. I you. can't bring my dog. Okay, I mean, She's I could do too that. Big. I could do that. But we need a big and a small dog. I have a big dog and too. a horse. Okay, we both. need a big <laughs> and a small dog. I don't have and a horse. But we're not going to give you any other hints. Mm -hmm. Happy planting, everyone. <laughs> Bye. Bye.